one. So I just wanted to show all you some games that I made. Um, in particular, I wanted to show you one. I don't know. I just decided to pick one, and I picked this tank trouble game I made. Because back when I made it in junior high, everybody re really liked playing the game Tank Trouble. So I wanted to create my own Tank Trouble game, but it was kind of rushed and slapped together. And there are a lot of bugs and stuff with the game that, um, honestly, it just it doesn't play the same. But eh, I just thought I might show it. It's okay, I guess. It chooses a random map. You got the. Um, tanks, you got red and blue. You can try to fucking remember what. Ah. And the goal is to, like, get your score to return thing. The thing is, like, blue, I don't think I have the whole collisions thing right for it, because what you're supposed to do is bounce off the wall, and, like, it's very buggy. Also, for some reason, backing up into a wall gets you stuck into an infinite nothing, but... Yeah, like, I'll redo it, and you got... This, I guess. And then I can just, like, if I maneuver right here... And I think, once your score gets up to, I think it's... Hmm... Your score need to get up to in order to win. Oh, it's that. Well, I'm gonna attempt to fix a few bugs. Hmm, let me see if key W press move 10 of touching by to move negative 10. This should probably work. Fix some of the collision detection on this. Um... This may end up being a shorter video, I don't know. Depends on when screencast if I tells me I'm running out of space. Let me see if that fixed some of the collision detection now. That's definitely much better. Hmm. You know, one thing that I wish I could do is get these things to actually start bouncing. But instead, what happens is it just turns 180 degrees because the bounce is just if touching edge, then bounce. Hmm. Let me see here. If direction. equals say hmm well I just I don't know how to fix that I mean if only scratch team would add if touching this sprite then bounce but I mean they don't there's no, like, bounce block. So... That probably won't work. I mean, it's not... But if I, gave you, I guess I could show you... How I would make more arenas. You got all these weird things that I created back then that I... That count as arenas, apparently. Mmm... So basically, first what you gotta do is you gotta clear out it. Like, you duplicate one of these, you clear it out. You take this and drag it around the edges so you have, like, an edge 
That way people aren't trying to, like, escape or something. And then you just draw in black lines wherever you want them, like, say I want... Some kind of weird thing going up through the middle, I don't know. Well, the big black glob that you have to go around. And then I go, like, fill in these areas. I don't usually use paintbrush because it's pretty inaccurate and I'm pretty bad with it, but... Eh, whatever. Ooh, a little bit more fine. Could put in a little thing there. Hmm, you know, actually, I could color this whatever I want it to color, so, you know what, I honestly don't care, I'm gonna color it orange, because I like the color orange. If you can't hear me, then that's probably because I've been mumbling this whole time, sorry about that. So if you didn't hear a single word I've said, then... I don't know, it's early morning right now, and I'm tired, and... Yeah. Well, now I have an orange arena here. Um, it's... Pretty okay, I guess. I need to code this into the script to be pick random 1 through 6. So that way there's more costumes you can do. If you want to make your own version of the game, you can... This is shared, so you can always remix it, I guess, but if you search up DM Harp on the on Scratch to try to find my profile, uh, oh. but this is pretty much all the coding that I got. I don't know why these are here. These are just kind of there as little cheat codes. But yeah, this is pretty much all the coding that you need for a sprite. The first tank, you've got the second tank. Forget these, you need the third tank. Of course. And there's like the player one wins. Which also is another costume for player two wins. I don't know why I'm showing you all the coding I did if I'm not going to show you, like, the different costumes. Some of these are only one costume, though. That's for the bullet. This is for the backdrops. And then if you want to see the costumes I have, then pretty much everything has one costume, except for, of course, all the different backdrops. And then this one's just got player one wins and player two wins, and I type them in the corners of the thing, because that's basically, if I say go to X0, zero, zero, then it's going to go there, and it's going to put these um, in that area. So, is <sighs> just quickly press go to front, so it's not like behind the walls. And then you just want to set this number from one to the, the number of different types of costumes it has for the thing. I think the last thing I'm going to do is just pick a backdrop, make it look nice. Yeah, I'll do this. It looks cool. Yeah, it's like it's on drawn paper or something, like graph paper. So I think that's been about 10 minutes. I don't know. It's Screencast hasn't told me I'm running out of thing yet, so I'm just going to play the game a bit. Um, oh, that's right. I think there's some weird... That's good. Sometimes you need to click with the no color in the paint bucket in the area that's not supposed to have color again because it might think that that's still part of the sprite when it's not supposed to be. Over here, and they can take this guy. Honestly, this game is supposed to... Yep, there we go. This game is supposed to be played with two players, but I'm only doing it with one. I don't know. I just don't have anybody to play with. I am so lonely. I have nobody.